I had a conversation just the other day with a representative from a green industry specific software and uh, just gathering some information. And one of the questions she asked was, how long have you been in business? And I said, it's been over 20 years. And she was floored. She was uh, just so taken aback. She said, wow, congratulations. That's awesome. And uh, then she said, most of the companies we talk to have been in business less than five years or are just getting started. So the next time you're driving around, if you happen to make it to a sheets between seven and eight in the morning, you will see a whole crop of landscapers. And if you decided to do that exactly one year from now, again, and take a look at who's there, you will find an entirely new crop of landscapers that are uh, there in the morning. Every year, there are new faces and new, new trucks I see out there. And every year, there are ones that I used to see that I don't see anymore. The turnover rate is huge. Consider that the next time you're looking to hire a company, not all prices are created equal. If you're looking at that dollar amount, and that is your main number one factor in determining who you will hire, but you don't take a look at all of the other considerations like have they done a project like this before? Uh, how many of these kinds of projects do they do? And how long have they been in business? Then you know, on top of just what, what does their work look like and uh, how long has some of their projects been in the ground? Take that into consideration. If you are getting a young company, if you are getting a cheap price, a lot of times that's based on a lack of experience because we all have the same costs. If we buy Versaloc, we get it at the same price as every other contractor. There's no, no one that has a special magical discount. Limestone. There's no special secret discount on limestone. We're all buying the same materials. If you look at Help Wanted ads, everyone's advertising for roughly the same range of labor uh, per hour pay. Um, you know, if you have a, an F550, it costs the same for everybody. If you have an excavator, a skid steer, whatever equipment, that all costs the same. So, you know, overhead costs, your internet and everything like that, that all costs the same. So what's the big difference? It's experience, know-how, it's knowing your numbers and what you actually need to charge to recoup your costs. And okay, if somebody goes out of business, you say like, what's the big deal? But they're not gonna be there to support you and if they are dangerously close to going out of business and maybe your project is the last one they ever install, um, how much care and attention do you think they're actually putting into your specific project when they're just trying to keep their head above water?